Hello everyone. Welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology. In today's lesson we are dealing with the types of metamorphic facies in metamorphic petrology. A metamorphic facies is a set of mineral assemblages that form under specific temperature and pressure conditions during the metamorphism of rocks. The zeolite facies marks the early stage of burial metamorphism at low temperatures, 100 to 250 degrees Celsius, and pressures, and is characterized by zeolites minerals with water content in their chemical formulas. Hornful's facies, linked to contact metamorphism, includes minerals like endalocyte, cordorite, and sulamanite in pelletic, clay-rich, rocks, and diopside and wollastonite in impure limestone or calcareous rocks. The greenskist facies, typical of regional metamorphism, occurs at 300 to 450 degrees Celsius and is marked by chlorite, actinolite and epidote. These minerals give the rocks a greenish hue and are stable at the moderate temperature and pressure conditions of this facies. Amphibolite facies, 450 to 750 degrees Celsius, represents deeper regional metamorphism with minerals like hornblende, especially hornblende, and plagioclase, with the absence of chloride indicating higher temperatures than those of the greenskist facies. Rocks of this facies, known as amphibolites, are generally dark-colored and foliated or non-foliated, depending on the intensity of directed pressure. Granulite facies, at temperatures above 750 degrees Celsius, indicates deep, dry crustal conditions. The temperatures and pressures in this facies result in the breakdown of hydrous minerals, leading to the formation of anhydrous minerals such as pyroxene, feldspar, and garnet. The presence of this facies indicates deep crustal processes, often associated with the roots of mountain chains or large-scale tectonic collisional zones. Blue schist facies, from subduction zones, forms at high pressure but low temperature, 200 to 500 degrees Celsius, with glaucophane, lawsonite and crosti, giving a distinctive blue color. The low temperature is due to the subduction of cold oceanic lithosphere into the Earth's interior faster than it can equilibrate thermally with the surrounding mantle. The presence of blue schist indicates past subduction zone activity and provides evidence of ancient convergent plate boundaries. Eclogite facies reflects extreme pressure and moderate to high temperatures, above 500 degrees Celsius, often occur at depths where the subducted oceanic crust descends into the mantle. Eclogites are characterized by the mineral assemblage of omphacite, a type of pyroxene, and garnet, giving them a dense, coarse grain texture with green and red colors. The formation of eclogite signifies high-pressure metamorphism that occurs in the deep roots of subduction zones and provides clues about deep earth processes and plate tectonics. And there you have it, a quick look into metamorphic facies in metamorphic petrology. Until next time cheers!